Morning, Finra people. How are you? I like to come on two, three minutes late, get you all worried that I'm not going to be here. Maybe you all go somewhere else, and then I get to have the night to myself. No, I love this shit. Okay. Boom. Um, okay, we'll work on that. Hey, guys, welcome on. Happy Tuesday. Oh, Billy, you're, you're killing it on this thing. You're fucking killing it. Don't worry about it. Your scores are rock solid. Boom. Okay. There we go. I got it over there so I can look at myself. God, I'm horrible looking. See myself twice ways. That's horrible. Welcome on. I love this. Young OG, how are you? Billy, we got this signal. Um, you can use Young OG. I love the hearts. That's awesome. This must be behind. Okay. Okay. Tanner, how are you? Lisa Lou. Lisa Lou. There you got a name. That's awesome. You're on the YouTube. Yeah, guys, anyone, if you want your name, okay. Boom. Facebook use it. If you guys want me to see your name, go come come on um come on the YouTube. It's funny, I do this, right? And I get like, you know, like whatever, 200 views or whatever. I didn't realize there's like 200 on Facebook because that's split up, but whatever. I, I found a way to track that and it's fucking insane. But that's okay. We're all good. Okay. So now hope everyone's doing well. Moises, how are we doing? Logan, welcome on. Welcome. Welcome, Logan. Welcome, Moises. I love it. That's awesome. Paul Connor. Uh oh, what the hell is that? What are we looking for? Okay. Craig Hairston Green, I appreciate it so much. Is that on Facebook? That's a weird thing. Okay. Um, wait, I wonder why it's showing up here. And where is this? Hold on. Oh, I, I did it on LinkedIn. That's funny. Okay. Boom. Uh, Craig Hairston, boom, I'm happy. Why didn't it show up yet? Am my LinkedIn thing's not showing up? Boom. But Craig, thank you for coming on. I love it. That's awesome. I love that. Thank you very much. Okay. Now, CRPC, that's a tough one, right? That's a real challenge. Okay. Um, boom, Andrea. How are you? How are you doing, Andrea? Hope we're doing well. Hope you're nailing it. Hope you're doing well. I'm glad you came on from the Edward Jones and you're coming up here. That's awesome. Okay. Karina, that's right. I think you texted me. Boom. Congratulations. I'm so happy. It is such a big deal to get through that thing, right? It is such a big deal to nail that, to get that seven out of the way. It really is. It's unbelievable how much, how awesome it is. Okay. That's what I'm doing there. Okay. So, you know what? I'll leave it that way. Okay. I don't know why my LinkedIn stuff is on, but it's right here. So, you can watch it. Okay. Um, Jeff, welcome on. Okay. Yeah, I can do that. I have a video on that, but I absolutely can, Carla. Okay, so a couple of things that's got out of the way. Look, there's so many free resources out there. There's so many good resources. On YouTube, there's a few of them. There's Brandon Rith. There's Susie, Susie, uh, Susie Rhodes at Past Masters. You got Brian Lee over at um, Test Geek, and you got me. Boom. Okay, so now the other places, listen to me. I'm telling you right now, this is all free shit. I am telling you this community. Hey, me. How are you, Jansky? Okay. Okay. I know it is awesome. I am so happy that you passed, Karina. Okay. Now, hold on. Let me do this. We got to get through this. We got to give people props, right? Okay. So, Sindel, if you want to email me questions, the best way is either copy paste here or shoot it to me at my email. If you go on my website, series7exam.org, you should be able to find my email. Hold on. Let me get let me get through this. Okay. Hey, listen, we're gonna we're gonna get you through this. I call it. I call this. Nicole, we'll get to you. Hold on, I'm gonna get to. Good, there you are, Craig. That is awesome. Again, so happy for you that you're done for the series PC. That's a hard ass test, I think. DJ, okay. Yeah, that's right. If you're getting seventy twos on Kaplan, you're in good shape. Okay. Hold on, Karina. I gotta say it again. That's awesome. I love it. Shoe you, baby. That's shoe you. I love it. Okay. And it, uh, here we go. Boom. Okay. I'm telling you, Tanner, it, it does help. Work. I'm, I can't say this enough. You got to freaking work out. I should too, right? Let's all do it together. Let's all make a commitment. Nah, you won't even do it. But let's make a commitment. They're going to work out before studying. And I promise too, I'm not studying, so I'm not really lying. I, I will do it. I promise. I'm going to go to. I have, I have to go to the dentist tomorrow, get a checkup. And it's funny. I went to the dentist today to fix, like, I have part of my tooth broken. It was sharp, right? And I hadn't been to the dentist in such a long time. So he walks in. 
and he, and he just he didn't use any um, anesthesia. He just kind of ground the tooth down a little bit. I, you know, it was a little bit of pain, not bad. But it's funny. I haven't been to the dentist long. I didn't know where to put my tongue. I was like, "Am I in the right spot? I don't know." It's like I don't know where I'm running it. I don't know what I don't want him to drill it. So, as a kid, I knew you knew like sub your tongue somewhere, but I didn't know what to do with the dentist. Luckily, he didn't complain. Okay, now free resources. There we got. Also, please go check out the Facebook groups. I have Finder Exam Prep with help. Oh, no, no cupcake. We're going to get through this. Okay. Yes. Unless if you've done it before, you can probably do it. It's fucking tough. As long as you can study all day. Okay. Boom. I agree, Karina. I'm telling you it helps. So now go to Facebook. If it's only the cool kids, it's fine. But Facebook, we have two groups. We have Series 65, 66. And then I have, it's called Finner Exam Prep with help from Capital Advantage Tutor. I made it so you can find it. We have like 4,500 people in there. Literally, people, Ryan, people. Um, go on there and they help each other. It almost it makes me fucking happy, right? Because we're creating a community of helping people, right? Look, like literally, I'm a dick. If you talk to my family, I am a fucking prick. Okay. I, I don't, I mean, I help people out, but I'm just a jackass and I, I'm not nice about stuff. I will help you as all you I'm not kind, as we put it. I'm a New Yorker, so I'm nice but not kind. Which meant I help you out, but I'm not gonna be nice to you about it. But this group, they're so helpful. Um, I don't think they'll help you trade. I mean, they, they, that's not what we do. Okay. Boy, I got a lot of questions. That's good stuff. So now, let me get the free resources out, and then we'll get to all the questions. I love that this question's in there. Asking people how to study all day long, just telling people how to study and prepare for a test tomorrow, it's fine, but it ends up taking up half the view. So now, join the Facebook group. We're all helping each other out. What I'm saying is that they're all helpful. Literally, if I see a post and I don't get to it, and I, I usually try to wait until I see other people answer. Because I want to see how they do it. Because here's what happens. Somebody asks a question. I answer. Everyone stops helping. Because they go, I don't want to do after you. And I, I don't want that. That's not the purpose of that group. That The purpose of my Facebook group, which is fucking awesome, okay? It is rock solid great. The purpose of that group, okay, is to have everyone help each other. I call it crowdsourcing, right? I did a post, a study group. I think like four different study groups started. Remember, I have those free Zoom groups, okay? I put up those free Zoom groups on my website. So you can just join. I have an SIE, I have a seven, and then I have a, a six and seven, and then I have the 65, 63, 65, 66. Boom. Oh, Ryan. Boom. Passing away. I love it. Okay. So I'm going to tell you right now, everyone who's on here now taking the test tomorrow, get the fuck off my live. Go get some sleep, please. Okay. What are you doing on here? Go get some sleep. We got this, Kendra. Tainer. Boom. Okay. You're going to tell you everyone, you're going to nail this tomorrow. Okay. We're going to absolutely nail this tomorrow. Cindy, I'll let you in as soon as I see that. Okay. So I'll let you in on that one. So now, now a couple quick things real quick, and then I'll get into this. I want to answer your questions. It's been 11 minutes of me just rambling, okay? It's like a preamble, kind of like a not funny, no, I don't like Jimmy Kimmel, but a not, a not fun, whatever, tonight's show. It's not funny, I just ramble. Um, if you guys want some help, right here, look, I'm here to help you. I got my website. You know I tutor. I tutor 10 hours a day. Whatever, but I'm really expensive. You can check out my website, series7exam.org. But if I'm too expensive, go check out Michael Weiss, okay? Go check out um, Michael Weiss at series7examtutor.com. He's really good, and he's about half my price, especially good in the 65, 66. But I, there's two things that we're going to help you out. One, if you're taking the SIE, anyone just starting out for the SIE, go, I have a link. Even if you don't use my link and don't pay me, because screw me, right? I don't care. I'm fine. I totally am okay with it. Go to Achievable, achievable.me or hit my link. There's a discount code in there. You get a couple bucks off, maybe 10 bucks or so. That they, um, there's no one better. There's no one who teaches that shit better. Yeah, some people like their questions. Some people don't, whatever, because they're in a different style. But it's the platform that teaches you shit, this shit better than anyone else. I swear to God. And again, I sounds like I'm selling it and I'm a salesman, but I'm saying, don't use my link. Go on, go there on, on your own with outside my link and get it. They're so good, especially for the SIE. If you're just starting out and you're trying to figure out what this business is, that's the way to go. They have a lot of good shit on there. Now, also my memberships. If you guys want to join my memberships, it's super easy. Um, you hit the join button here. We meet every Sunday night, okay? We, I do the 65, 66. We do an hour on Zoom, so it's very personal back and forth. A lot of questions. People like it. I do the 65, 66 at 6 p.m. I do the Series 7 at 7 p.m. And then we do an options. Jeff, I agree. Then we do options at eight from eight to nine every damn week. I did it on Mother's Day. Okay. Okay. 
I'm telling you right now, Ryan, I, you're right. And Ryan and Jeff, I'm telling you, Achievable is so good. They're just coming on strong, okay? They're big time. They're getting there. They're good. Tyler and um, Justin and Brandon's a writer. Now, that's the other thing. The guy who writes for them is the one from ba Basic Wisdom. He does his own shit. So go check him out. He used to be the director of learning at Fidelity. Okay, now let's get on to these questions. What's funny, I had someone from there reach out to me about they said they're looking for a director of learning at Fidelity, but... I don't know that I'd be able to do this shit at the same time. So I'd have to obviously say no. So Sindel, if you want to send me emails for Thursday's live, I won't be looking at emails now. Okay. Um, who the hell is knocking on the door? Hold on a second. Hey, welcome back. Somebody answered. It's not who knocks on the door at 8.45 at night. Luckily, I didn't fucking shoot him. Okay. Now, boom. So that. So now, Joanna, that $10. Oh, because you probably did. Um. Oh, oh, the weekly. Okay, you'll get the link. Just, you'll you'll get the link. So I also have to do my website where you can do it weekly for like, it's like 10 bucks for the same thing, but it's only once a week and it recurs. You, I'll email you the link. I go through that list at like three o'clock. Okay. I mean, who the fuck? Knows? And and I told, I came back 10 out. He came at like noon and he goes, and I said, don't come back. I'm, t I'm teaching 12 hours a day. He just knocked. I go, yeah, I'm still fucking teaching. Okay. Now back to you, babies. Okay. Yeah. Ryan, don't sweat the, don't, do not sweat the margin too much. Let me get on to this. Okay. Now, and again, Sindo, go to my website, series70zm.org. And check out, you can send me questions. Okay. Cindy, no, you're going to be fine. We're going to get this. We're all going to get this together. We are in this trip together. Anur, how are you? Okay. Okay. Here's the easiest thing to do. You're in good shape. Billy, you're in good shape. I'll answer some of your questions. But go watch my 63 Quick and Dirty. I am telling you, it'll, it'll answer a lot of your questions. Go to my playlist. As long as you're in everything on there, you should be fine. Here's the big thing about the 63. Ethics is big. Okay. Anyone taking the 63, do not fucking blow off ethics. It will be the, it will be, that will be the death of you. Okay. Do not do that. Okay. Do not blow off ethics. I probably just get demonetized by saying the SH word, but now I'll curse all my head off, but that I won't do. So now, um, we are, on, we're all in this together, right? Isn't that a song? Okay. Now, now, Shamalama Ding Dong. I'm going back from high school music right to Greece. Okay. We'll stay together like Shamalama Lama. There you go. Okay. So now, diggity dingy dong. Oh, by the way, Erica better fucking come on here because she took the test the other day. If she didn't come on here with all the help we all gave her, she better fucking come on. Okay. Hopefully she'll hear me. Ears ringing. Um, you're in good shape, Billy. Make sure you go through my playlist. Make sure you go through the quick and dirty. And I think Kaplan has a tips thing. You're good. Make sure with the 63. Tainer, not that many. I mean, really, stock splits and, and current yield. That's about it. Um, focus on make sure you take your time. Make your practice using as long as your exams are taking an hour or less your time. Because time is actually a fucking thing on the 63. I swear to God, time is the thing. So make sure. Okay. Okay. Lisa, I love it. Lisa Lou. Okay. Okay. Boom. So what are you going to do? So I didn't get to you yet. It's probably been what? 15 minutes or so, and I don't know who you are. So anyone on Facebook, if your name doesn't show up, please, please make sure um, you put your name on there so I know. I'll forget anyway, but whatever. So, yeah, just make sure you read. Make sure you focus on reading, 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 okay? Make sure you focus on reading the most, okay? Kyle, that's it. What the hell are you doing on my live? I love having you on here, but go get some sleep, I promise you. I'd much rather you pass than I get a view. I want views. Of course I want views, okay? But I actually, I, yeah. Young OG, 100% right. Time is a thing on the, on the 63. Boom, Kyle, you're going to nail it. As long as you're scoring 
Watch my SIE quick and dirty, and you're going to be fine. Okay. Curtis, how are you? Okay. Nicole, read customer accounts. That's what I'm going to tell you right now. Get off my freaking live and go read customer accounts or even watch the video. I don't give a shit, but customer, I swear to God, and then go watch my 24 hours before the seven playlist. But more importantly, if you have to choose between those two, read customer accounts. It's low-hanging fruit and heavily enough tested that it'll give you points. I promise you it'll give you points for the seven. Anyone taking the seven, so hear me, hear me out. If you're taking the seven tomorrow, get the fuck off my live. Go get some sleep. Read customer accounts. Can't do both at the same time, but figure it out. If you're taking it after, what's today, Tuesday? After Thursday, even Thursday, no test tomorrow. Just And then if you're taking the next seven days, you want to take tests every day, but not the day before the test. Boom. Okay. Boom, Curtis, you're in good shape. The day before the test, you do not. You just add knowledge. You watch videos. You read customer accounts. Okay, you read stuff like investment companies. You do all that stuff. You do not take a final. You can take little quizzes, like an option to get the cobwebs off. Other than that, boom, you're working on adding knowledge and relaxing. Good night. Go get laid. Smoke some weed. No, don't weed. Don't smoke weed. Get the laid part, but don't do this weed part. Get a massage. Go find a Greek god or a Greek goddess and have them give you a deep tissue massage. And whatever else happens, happens. You need to relax the night before. Okay. 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 I can, I will. Boom. Okay. Don't worry about it. You're too early. You saw my video. Don't put, be nice to yourself. Okay. Listen, it's not going to come. Here's what I tell everyone. And this is the, why I put that video out there. Okay. It's a lot, Curtis. It is. So I'm telling you right now, do not. If you're studying for, and I can't say, I didn't say it in the video because I did say it in the video, but it was quick. If you are studying and you're just studying and you know you're going to be studying for another two weeks, do not compare yourself to where you're going to be, okay? Do not compare. Now, read the books and relax. That's the first thing you got to do. Do not compare today's student to two-week student. Stuff that's frustrating you now Will not will most likely not be frustrating you in two to three weeks. It doesn't come. Okay, boom. Okay, there you go. Okay. Oh, there you go. Got it. Funny. All over the place. Right. Okay. So now finance and octane. I got it. Okay. So now too many Kyles. Never enough Kyles. Never enough Ken. There's no Kens anywhere. So now, um, I'm leaving that up because I want the ego boost. But listen to me. If you're studying and you're feeling frustrated, okay. And it's, you know, it's unless you're taking a test tomorrow, then you're fucked. But the point is, okay, here's a deal on this, okay? If you are three weeks away or a month away or you're two weeks into studying and something's frustrating you, yes, it's fine. It's going to happen. But you're going to get better. Like I said, if you have a kid, you're, you're not going to beat the crap out of them because they can't walk it at six months, okay? Boy, I'm really in a violent mood today, aren't I? So the point is you're not going to push on them. You put a flower, you put a seed in the ground. You're not going to yell at it because a, a week or two later, it's not growing. Give it freaking time. Do not start like you said. So somebody just said they were really frustrated. It's been two weeks. It's been two weeks. Unless you only have three weeks to study, you're fine. You know, if you, you, you're going to have stuff that you don't get. It's a fucking process. Okay. And it is a humiliating, humbling process. It's like this, up and then down, up and then freaking down. King Daka at Great Adventure. It's up and down all the I promise you. Yes. Bill I think I'm back. Boom, I'm back. I thought it was, um, I think I was losing it. Okay. I think I'm back. Good. Okay. Shannon, thank you for joining the week Hobbs and Zoom, Zoom class. We will see you there. Okay. Now. Okay. Now we're good. Okay. So let me get on this. Okay. Um, Moises. Boom. Thank you for coming on. Logan. Love it. Paul Gunner. Should I say anything? Okay, no. Karina, again, I fucking love it. Andrea, welcome on. I'm glad you came on for my class during the day. Okay. Yes, Michelle, I'm telling you right now, 
But the thing is, remember something. Once you get through, nobody gives a shit that you failed. Literally, I'm telling you right now, I've had people come at me. They failed the third time. And then once they failed the second time, they passed the third time. And everyone forgets that they failed. They don't care. They do not care at all. Okay, now, Carla, I know it took me a while to get to there. So let's think about this. Okay, let's see if I can do it on here. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, no join. I just want a new meeting. There we go. There we go. Yeah, I don't care if I can start video. Okay. And I, I promise you I'll get to your question about the ADV. I promise. Okay, so, so if a stock is trading in a range, like say, it's like it's trading up and then down and then up and then down and then up. So based on a pattern, okay, what happens is, I wonder if I should make it bigger, hold on. Everyone complains that it's not big enough, so let's make a big ass fucking thing. So stock is, that's not any better. Okay, that may work. So a stock is trading up and down and up and down. So what happens is by doing that, it kind of creates a range, okay? That is just horrible. Why don't I use straight lines? Because I don't know how to do straight lines, do I? You're all watching my fucking shitty-ass artist. Okay, here we go. So it's like maybe there's a range where it hits on the high, and on the low. So up here, like maybe it's trading up to 60 all the time and then trading down to 50, okay? So it's not a real hard number, but it's just through patterns we've seen that the stock keeps coming down around 5860. I can even make it lower and make it more. Right? So it's right there. It's trading at there. That's a little neater, right? Okay. Now, so it's trading in this range up and then down and up and down. So up here is what we call resistance. It's the top, okay? It's near the top, and it's, it keeps bouncing off that. And that is not that as a rule they have to happen, but what happens is people see it going there, and if you see it going to 63 times, you're going to go, well, it's probably going to bounce again, so we're going to start selling it, and it forces it down. And then if it goes down here, this is support, okay? So a stock will most likely stay in the range until it breaks out for some reason. So then if what happens is if it hits right here, you would probably sell it. But if it went to here, you probably buy it now because it's once it breaks through, it's called a breakout or a breakthrough. Once it breaks through resistance, it's probably going to go to the next resistance. OK, that's the deal here. OK, now that's the way it goes. And then going down, if it goes down, it should bounce off. But if it breaks out, breakout or breakthrough. This is support, like a floor. It's supporting you, like a support bra holding up. Okay, so it's going to go down. Once it breaks through, it keeps going down. So we got support, and then we have resistance. Yeah, that was looking wrong. But you have resistance holding it down, and then we have support holding it up. So it's like a floor. And it keeps bouncing off that when we go. Hope that helps a little bit. Okay. CG. Again, Yansky, I didn't get you. Boom. That's fucking awesome. Boom. Get the 63. First you do is read, okay? Okay. Yeah, no, you're good. So follow their pattern. They want you to do quizzes after each chapter. Achievable, you can do it. They have a, the reason I say read the book once before doing quizzes is but Achievable has their own platform, which works. Okay. Um, next videos, I think I agree. No, I know. You're asking. I have a whole playlist for the 63. Go for it. Look and tab. Go onto my channel. Tab over to playlists. There's a Series 63 uh, playlist that'll help you. Okay. Or if you want videos that you can watch, I think STC ones are better than Kaplan. I think Kaplan, the guys are kind of old. Um, but the I think STC has good ones. Also, training consultants, if you can handle Tina's voice, they stick. Okay. Again, Yansky, that's awesome. Okay. DJ Piecemeal. Okay, you got two days. You can stay on air. That's good. I'm not going to kick your ass off. Um, remember, so tomorrow, not a lot. You can... Here's the thing. For the SIE, maybe take one tonight, maybe tomorrow morning. But don't don't put too much weight into it. And just make sure you get – make sure – anyone taking the SIE, make sure that you're good. By, by the Not now if you're just starting to study, like the, someone who's just starting to study. But when you get in closer, 
Make sure that you're good with what the register rep can and can't do, like FINRA rules, prohibited activities, shit like that. Okay. Myra, do, Myra, don't worry about it. It's not a memorization test. I mean, really, it's more just common sense a little bit. And make sure you know the investment risks, like interest rate risk, market risk, political risk, uh, exchange rate risk, slash currency, stuff like that. That's the big DJ. Make sure you're good with that stuff. Okay. Okay. Boom. I love it, Myra. That's awesome. Just do it. You got it. Okay. Yes. Anika, go take the fucking test. You're ready. You're ready. If you're doing 75 to 80 on past perfect and you're not memorizing shit, you are ready, lady. You are ready. Lady, guy. I don't I don't even know because I've never looked. Okay. But you're ready. You're getting those scores. You're ready. Tainer, go watch. Here's the thing. Read the morning. Read the book for okay. Oh my God, you got so much time. Take your time, Eric. This is what I just said. Don't sweat this shit. You're good. You're good. Don't get frustrated now. You are a month away from you. If it comes around, if you're around Labor Day and you're still struggling, then we can talk. But right now, it's too freaking early to worry about it. Yeah, it's you're early. You're a month away. Did you listen to what I just said? Maybe not. Okay. Carla, I have a video on that. I'll, I'll, get, I'll put the video in here. It's the best video I have. But fundamentals looking at the ink, like income statement, balance sheet, stuff like that. And um, technical is looking at charts, trends, and patterns. Okay. That's the big thing. Okay. Let me get in here. All these fucking alerts. God, I fucking hate alerts. But I need them or I'm an idiot. I, see, I hate the alerts, but I need them. So let me get that video. Carl, I'm going to throw it over to you. But remember, technical looks at charts, trends, patterns, support, resistance, all that shit. Okay. Good. Resistance. It's futile. Here we go. Carla. Boom. That's the that's my quick rundown on balance sheet, income statement, support, resistance, technical, fundamental. Boom. Oh, that was it? Okay, but now you made me do that. You got to watch that video. You have to watch the video. Boom, there it is. Okay, general study tips, just read the book. Read the book. Here's the thing. I'm going to say this once for everyone, and I'm mad. I don't, I'm not mad. I just act like it, okay? Read the book. First, read the book cover to cover. Then start doing chapter quizzes. Anything you score under a 70 on, reread the chapter or watch one of the videos. Once you get over 70 on all the quizzes, then start doing finals, then go past the damn test. Every time you take a, don't do more than one a day, take one a day, then spend the rest of the day reviewing all the answers, both the right and the wrong. Make sure the right ones you got for the right reason. Make sure the wrong ones you got wrong for the for like a stupid reason or a real reason. Learn from it. Remember something, testing is not studying. I know everyone thinks it is. Testing is testing, okay? Testing is just seeing where you're weak. So if you get a bad score, don't think, oh, that sucks. Think, oh, I can find out where I'm weak now. I mean, that's like overly positive. But the point is you got to find, you have to find your weakness. Always poke your weakness. Be self, I don't self-avow. I'm totally in denial. Like I pretend I'm a, I'm not a 56-year-old fat man. In my mind, I'm not, but I'm in denial. You can't be that way. You have to be very accountable for what you're doing. I want you to, when you do a test, and don't be hard on yourself, be nice, okay? Again, be gentle with your soul, okay? If you're getting stuff wrong, find the stuff you're wrong and then fix it and then work on it. But then the hardest part about this is do not take five months to study. This should be a six to nine week study plan. Nine weeks even is almost too long. Okay. Because then you start, you start, um, Tammy, we'll get to that. But it's, um, it's, it, you start forgetting shit. Okay. Okay. James, it's Q&A, baby. I don't lecture. Those weekly things, um, you bring people bring in questions and we go over them. We share screen, we record it, I replay it, stuff like that. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna get your questions. Boom, boom, boom. Again, two weeks is doable. It's tight. Okay. Since you pass it once before, you should be there. Okay. Okay. Yeah, well, there are people fatter than me. I get it, but I mean if I watch Tammy and Amy, my six hundred pound life, we'll get there. No, I got the, we'll see. We're working on it. Okay. We made that deal in the beginning that everyone's going to work out before studying. And so I'm going to work out. So we're going to, we're going to do that. Okay. Now, 
you're Tammy, you're in good shape. Don't worry about the little details. If you're getting seven, if you're in the seventies on Kaplan and hitting the eighties, that's insane. I don't think I hit the eighties on this shit. So yeah, think you're in good shape. Okay. You're in good shape. Keep working on it. You have it next week. You're solid. Make sure you keep going. Listen to me. Anyone taking the 66 or 65, the thing that hits everyone. No. So the SIE and air. No. Um, everyone thinks they got the investment vehicle shit down. You don't do it again. Get the investment vehicle stuff down. That's like all the products and shit like that. You got to know the insurance. You got an annuity. You got a mutual fund. You got to know all this stuff. Not as much as a seven, but you need to know it enough. And people kind of blow it off. They go, oh, I took the seven. I'm good. Don't think that way. Make sure. I know the regs are just as important. They're 45% of the test, but the investment vehicle is where people get hammered. Okay. Yeah, I, that's tough. Okay. Karina, I agree. I have the options videos, my membership classes. I think they help, and they're a goddamn bargain. Imagine paying 50 bucks a month, and you get four class. well, really, eight classes, a series, four, series, seven classes, once every Sunday, and then an options class after it. Quite the bargain. Okay. Okay. For the SIE, hardly at all. This is what you have to, I'm going to tell you right now, anyone taking the SIE, and this will help for the seven, too. Hold on. Let's see if it works. Here we go. Boom. There we go. Okay. Let's see if it works. There we go. Okay. So everyone, it's to do what you need. For the SIE, this is what you need to know. If you're long stock, I might not even need it. It's for protection, you buy a put. This is for the seven two kiddos. This will save you. Probably four or five questions. And if you want income or supplement, you sell a call. Literally, that's it. And let's do this one. Let's add in this for fun. All you can do is sell stuff below, okay, for protection. And if you're short stock, sell a put for income. Um, you can buy a call for protection. And you can do a buy stock for protection for an order. Remember, you don't do both. You do one. Or, so here's the thing. So if I'm long stock, if I'm long stock, I can, if I can buy a put for protection, sell a call for income, I do a sell stock for protection. If I'm short stock, I can buy a call for protection, sell a put for income, do a buy stock for protection. Remember, options, you buy options for, you buy for protection, you sell for income. Again, that's really what you need to know. And remember, whatever stock, whatever Whatever, if you're long the stock, you're always fucking bullish. If you're short the stock, you're always bearish, okay? If you're long the stock, you're bullish. If you're short the stock, you're bearish. Okay, now. See, Billy, I told, I, I told you to get there. Okay, hold on. Tainer, I don't think it's going to help you trade. It's very basic option stuff. But it helps you get to break even and shit like that. Now, trading options is a, is a smart man's game. Okay, that's why I don't do it. Okay. I can work on this. Okay, so now. The brochure, if you, so if you have, if you are an investor and advisor, this is for the 63, 63, 65, 66, okay? If you're an investor and advisor, you have to deliver the, when you open an account, you have to deliver the brochure, which is also known as ADV Part 2 in the brochure supplement, or the disclosure doc. Could be any one of those words. You have to deliver at or prior to them signing the contract. Boom, that's the rule. That's the rule. The brochure rule is you have to send it to them at or prior to signing the contract. Okay. Now. Okay. Okay. That's a lot, Billy. I have videos on this shit, but we can get there. Now. Don't worry. You're probably better off than you. You got the other test on. You're going to nail this thing. Now. The state goes, yeah, that's fine. At or prior. But if you do, but they say add in. Yeah, that's fine. Deliver the brochure at or prior to the customer signing the contract. But they go, we're going to add something in. If you don't give it to them 48 hours before they sign the contract, before the contract, then they get five days to back out of it. I'm reading the stupid thing. Don't get, guys, don't have ADD. Just, I mean, be normal. Don't be like me. Okay, so now. Take the Vivance or the Adderall and just maybe get blinders, okay? So um, brochure rule has to be delivered at or prior to signing the contract. And the state adds in, yes, that's true, that's fine. But if you don't give it the brochure to them 48 hours before they sign the contract, 
then they get five days to back out of it. If you give it to them 48 hours before, then they get, once you're in, they sign it. That's that, okay? Now, and you have to, do, if it's under the, on the, the state rule, you only have to uh, deliver it if there's a change. Under federal, they have to do an annual updating amendment every year. And even if there's no changes, you have to, you have to report that there's no changes, okay? So that's that. Now, as far as, as far as like newspapers and shit like that go, if you, okay. If you are pushing a newspaper out and, and say it's a, it's a Wall Street Journal, if more than two thirds of the readership are outside the state. So think the, the Wall Street Journal published in New York. I mean, really New Jersey, but let's say it's New York. Okay. Published in New York. And obviously the whole world fucking reads it. So then more than two thirds of the readership are outside New York. Then it's not an offer anywhere. There's no jurisdiction. If less than two thirds are outside, then it would. So let's say we have the Star Ledger, which is a Jersey thing. You post that in, in Jersey, then and only ninety percent of it's like one fucking county because it's it's a it's a New Jersey paper. Then anything in there, the, the Jersey would have jurisdiction. Now let's say someone from Pennsylvania happens to be driving through, or let's say it's it's right by the border of Pennsylvania and Jersey. They issue the paper, and somehow it floats over the border into Pennsylvania, and somebody reads it. They don't have jurisdiction. It's not an offer in that state. It's really just in the state. So either it's going to be, think of a newspaper jurisdiction as it's an advertising in the state or nowhere. Okay. I guess you could have two states, New York and New Jersey, and then they both have jurisdiction in a way. But the way we go is if the newspaper is published, it's going to be in that state. But if more than two thirds of the readership are outside the state, then no state has jurisdiction. Hope that helps a little bit. Okay. Not a big difference, okay? But here's the thing. ETFs are more... So here's the thing. So ETFs have low management fees. Real, oh, let me do it this way. Index funds have low management fees. They do, okay? But they're not as low as ETFs, okay? Index funds have low management fees, but not as low as ETFs. ETFs, remember, indexes are managed. They have a management fee. ETFs are, yeah, they're managed, but it's a much lower... It's a lower... Its expense ratio is lower, okay? Now... Index funds, they do the same thing. You buy it NAV plus a sales charge. And then if you, here's the problem with it. Let's say the market's up at noon and you want to get out of it. So you sell your index fund. Well, you're not going to get your price till noon, till 4 p.m. or so, and the market could drop by then. But in ETF, you want out, you want out. So if someone wants to be able to trade it and buy it on margin or sell it short, it's going to be an ETF. If it's If they don't care about that and they want, you know, longer term investing and they're okay with the fund and not being as transparent, I guess, Index fund is the better one. I don't know that there's a big difference between suitability on those other than the more definitional. And any vendor that asks that question, they're just being dicks, okay? So I don't know that the test would do that because literally it's the same kind of person. The only difference is that you can buy it on margin and sell it short, which is an ETF, not an index fund. They're both not, they have very low fees because they're passively managed. They're not trying to beat the market, okay? Kendra, I hope you're asleep, okay? Okay. You don't need prayers, Jose. We're going to nail it, right? You don't. I'll give you prayers, everyone. Give a little. Everyone who's taking it tomorrow, let's have one big moment of silence. There he is. That's my moment of silence because you're going to nail this thing. I know you're going to nail it. Okay. Um, I think you want to be in the 80s. Lisa, you want to be, in, for the SIE, you want to be in the high 70s, low 80s. Okay. Okay. So, okay. Um, I don't think more than three or four. I mean, if you're paid to do it, then you can do the seven or eight. But I don't want I don't want more than four. Two is like a the good number, but four um four is a good number. Yeah, everyone give Jose and everyone else looking for a little love. Give them love. Okay, so now, so on the 63, 65, 66, there's an offer and a sale. The offer is the attempt, it's the call, it's a solicitation, and then the sale is a transaction. Actually paying for it, not so much paying for it, but the contract to sell it, okay? So an offer is the attempt, the phone call, the email, the contact. The sale is a transaction. That's the difference. The off, And you have to have jurisdiction, you have to have both. That's sort of why unsolicited or not. Um, there's no offer in an unsolicited. So that's kind of why partially reason why unsolicited or exempt transactions, okay? Okay, let's see.
That's right. So Ryan, how, the question is, you're done your second one. We're moving up, right? The goal, and remember, again, treat yourself, right? So just keep yourself calm. Don't beat yourself up at first. It's a wonky. Remember, the first couple ones are the wonky pancakes. Look, when I first started teaching, I said I made a lot of mistakes. Now I'm the fucking shit, right? So when I first did it, I would stutter and make mistakes. But now you wouldn't know it now. Now I just stutter because I'm an idiot, not because I don't know this shit. I hate this thing sometimes. I think we're back. Let's see if we're back. I don't know if I'm back. Maybe it doesn't say. I'm, oh, there we go. Okay, good. I hate the internet. Okay, now. I, what it is, I have too many goddamn people in my house. I have to go. I, I'm moving in a month to another place. Okay. Solicitation is an offer. Yes, it is. Okay. Yes. Yes. Sean, I'll get to you. I promise. Now, we're, um, we're back. I, I'll be back. I told you. So now, I'm just glad it doesn't freeze when I do this. You know, you don't want to have frozen. Everyone to see that for the next two hours. Okay. Now, um, don't sweat it. The first, second exam, don't boot. Okay. Okay. There you go. Ain't air. That's awesome. Okay. Um, yeah, don't worry about your second one, 62 and a half. You're moving up. Next one, you'll be in the 70s, and then you're good to go. Okay. 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 Now, um, I guess it would be. I guess it could be Billy. That could be a string. Don't, don't over fucking think this. Okay, they're not going to make you do like this crazy shit. I think we're good. There we are. Okay, D Billy, don't overthink it too much. Okay, so now. I don't know why my internet keeps going. I don't think there's storms. I don't know. I need fucking better internet. So now, yeah, I'm telling you, I I, I don't like past perfect. I don't, here, Moises, I don't know how to help you on this other than get another vendor to help you, okay? go If you're, here's the thing. If you're doing it and you're not understanding this stuff, go get the achievable. I promise you, or even, even Kaplan or STC, get another vendor to explain stuff and just do that. Like, do what you have to on past perfect and then go, then move on. I don't know what to do about the past perfect shit. And near Moises, it will get you to pass, but they go so fucking deep and it makes it so hard. I don't like the combined SIE and seven shit. I, I just think people think they're, um, no, with two weeks to go. No, no. With two weeks, absolutely not. Yeah. I'm telling you, I feel stupid with PP. I'm telling you, I feel dumb and I'll never, I, if I get one wrong in the exam, it's because I fucking, I made, I made a mistake. So here's the thing. Do the past perfect in the morning and then use the achievable to learn, okay? I'm telling you right now, they teach you shit better than anyone else. And you can use both, but past perfect makes you do goddamn yield to maturity. They make you do so much math. I, I am so frustrated that they must have goddamn naked pictures of the registration people, okay? I swear to God. I don't know what it is that that conference, they must get them drunk and get them late or something. I don't know what it is, okay? Maybe that's what I need to do, okay? Yes, you have a month. Yes, you have more than enough time. Yes, yes. If you have a month to go, switch away. If you have more than two weeks, you can switch. As long as you're studying all day. If you can only, 
James, yeah, you have a month that's good. Okay. I agree. I think sometimes STC can be a little convoluted, but they're better than past perfect. Okay. Okay. I'm telling you, this is, I'm telling you. Okay. Moises. Um, well, here's the thing. If you, if you do the achievable, you can probably get through the program in two weeks. If you pl- they tell you plug it in, you can plug it when you take it, and then they'll tell you what to do. They'll tell you how fast to go. But then if there's not enough time, yeah, do the practice questions. But I actually want you to read the stuff. I'm telling you, they explain it awesome. That's the difference. Almost like do the past perfect questions, but read achievable. Okay. I'm only 45 minutes behind. Okay. Yeah, boom. You're going to nail it. You get Tanner, I'm telling you we're going to nail it. Okay. Boom. Oh. Okay. Okay. Boom. Okay. Oh, another big bug. I love it. Okay. Joanna, you'll get the email. You'll get the email around 3 p.m. Um, everything but options and margin. Okay. Everything but uh, everything but options and mark up, mark down, pretty much. Anything that's not transaction related. Okay. Cindy, no, we're gonna get you through it. I promise you. Okay. We're all in this together. We're doing it again. Okay. Yeah, you're not gonna you're not gonna have to do it. You're not gonna have to do it ever. Okay. SIE for the formulas. I know I'm trying to catch up. For the SIE formulas, you need to know. Ready? No, I'm kidding. Um, stock splits, current yield, maybe a um, uh, maybe a um, current yield on stock on bonds. Stock splits, maybe a convertible. I think that's it. Fuck it, James. Don't go to Kaplan. Hey, they're good, but you don't have achievable. Will teach it better. I promise you. I promise you. Especially if you have past perfect. If you have past perfect already, achievable is just going to put you over the top. Kaplan's long too. That's a problem. They have like a 400 page book. Okay. Achievable is like boom, parody. Yeah. So parody stocks, that stuff you might have to do. But other than that, I don't know that there's any, I mean, they don't do tax equivalent yield. Oh, you might have to do break evens on an option. Okay. Kyle, I love you too, but you got this. We got this. You're going to nail it. Make sure you know the risks and what the register of can and can't do. Watch my quick and dirty. Curtis, you got time. Okay. Um, Greg, okay. You can absolutely, Tammy. You can buy the cap, cap and Q bank. Okay. XJ, it's. I think it's enough. I, but I'm a big fan of multiple supplements. I'm a big fan of multiple vendors. So I'd say get the achievable and buy the cap and Q bank for the seven. And then if you're passing them, you're in good shape. Um, yeah, no, just watch my watch my quick and dirty. Remember, guys, if you're taking the sixty six, you can watch my sixty three quick and dirty. And my 66 quick and dirty. I couldn't combine them because I did them at different times. The 63 quick and dirty is the regs portion of the 66. And the 66 quick and dirty is the non-regs portion. It'll help. I promise you'll get points out of it. That's what, And make sure you get sleep and relax the night before. Okay. No test tomorrow, man. Okay. Yeah, Logan, no vendor. That's the thing. No vendor mirrors the exam. Kaplan is a good supplement. I 100% agree. If you're using SDC and you want to buy just questions, buy Kappa. I'm trying to get Achievable to sell questions, but they don't yet. I mean, they have a good product, so they don't need to. And it's cheap enough that you normally don't have to, but we'll work. I'm working on them. Okay. Um, and Kappa is a good supplement. Okay. Again, like I just said, don't sweat this shit. Okay. It's too fucking early to work on. It's too early to worry about shit like that. Your second week, unless you're taking it in the third week. Relax. It's going to happen. Just don't don't pressure yourself to make it work. Just get the big picture. It'll come. I promise you. Okay. I agree. It's a lot. Okay. Read the book first. Read the book first, first, first. Okay. Boom. Irene, I love it. That's awesome. Um, yeah, you got to read the book first. And then, by, by the way, by the way, guys, I'm going to tell Sean, too. The 63 is so much easier than the 65. 
The 63 is so much easier than the 65. Sean, you're going to rock it. Um, Snorlax and anyone taking the 63. Once you get through the book once and do the quizzes, then take a final after final after final and keep taking them over and over again until you get um, blanket recommendation, you mean, okay, I think. Um, until you until you are getting um, getting yourself to passing and an hour or less. You got to get under an hour because the time is a real thing, okay. James, I think, yeah, switch to Achievable or Kaplan. I would switch to Achievable, and I bet you're going to see your scores go up. Okay? I'm telling you, enjoy. Listen, go on to the Facebook group, okay? Go on to the Facebook group, the Spinner Exam one, and join a study group. I'm telling you, those study groups, it's fucking insane how good they are. I can't say this enough. We have a good, uh, we're creating a community, right? We have this. We have the Facebook group. We have almost 5,000 people in there. We have this. We have, um, I guess that's it, right? But the point is, it's a create community and they're all helping each other. So I'm calling it crowdsourcing. You crowdsource your learning. So you get other people, join a study group. And I have a post in there that I said, anyone who should join a study group, just post what group you do, what test you're taking, and then reach out to people. Okay. Kanisha, you're going to be fine. You're going to love it. It's going to help you. Your scores are going to pop. Again, what you do is you use the achievable and then you take questions from both achievable and the vendor you were at before. I think I answered that one already. Michelle, boom. Jose, no, I don't like him. Yeah, no pressure at all. Yeah, a lot of people are in this, right? Where they have, they, they feel they have to, um, they have to take it or they lose their job. But yeah, you know what? Do every resource. If that means that you don't want to use past perfect and you want to use achievable and they get the cap and bank, do it. Do everything you can to pass. Join a study group, guys. Here, join. And I, what I do is on the option group, the option group is the last class of the night. I leave and I let them talk to each other. And they created a bunch of groups. They ended up meeting yesterday and today. It's great shit. Okay. You're ready. Boom. Anthony, go get drunk, get laid. You're going to be fine. You're going to just make sure you go over the, the uh, crunch. Go over. Um, yeah, I, I'm not a fan of exam effects. They're trying to change. By the way, they're trying to improve. They merged with or they took over training consultants. So I think they're going to take the best from training consultants and put it into their shit. They're re-recording the videos and everything because Tina retired. Um, let me, Anthony, I'll get you in a second. Let me catch up. Okay. Again, so with Achievable, follow their program. But if you would rather get through the book once and then go back into quizzes, totally cool. Okay. Again, don't sweat it. You're still... Mara, don't worry about it yet. Just kind of get the big picture. And once you, here's the thing. Once you start making connections, okay? So once you're making connections between one thing and another, the um, you'll be less worried about the memorizing because you'll understand it. Because the thing is, like, I try to teach stories and try to, when I teach and I do the the um, the videos and I do the groups, um, I try to tell stories so it becomes the thing, not words, right? So the whole goal is that I want you to learn things, not words. I don't want you to memorize. I want you to learn. Because if you learn, they can't fuck with you, right? Because if you learn this stuff, the questions are easier. Because remember, the questions on the real exam are not that tricky. If you know the stuff, if you memorize, yeah, they're tricky. Okay, that's the only thing. Okay. I love it, love it, love it. And it, Mary, you have so much time. Okay, I think we got that. If you can watch my video, Carla, we're gonna nail there. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's the problem a little bit. Okay. Okay, I will work on that. Okay, Nicole, I'll hit that one. Um, yeah, the thing is, the, don't worry about the little mini parts of the formula, but you got to, Tammy, you got to know what they're about, right? Your goal is you need to find out what they're for, okay? So like you talked about before. So what do you do? Future value is here. Present value is here. So if you have future value, you use DCF discounted cash flow and the IRR to find present value. So to find present value, you need future value, rate of return, and number of years. To find future value, you have to start with the present value and go up, which means you use the rate of return, the number of years, and the present value. So And then the rate of return where future value is equal to present value is the internal rate of return. Those are little things. And again, it's the big picture, not every little detail. Okay. No, I do. I try to draw. 
I'm trying to redo some of my videos with actual drawing on. Now, remember, I did some of these videos before Zoom was a thing. Okay. So again, James, they're 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 Q and A. Like basically, bring people bring their questions or email them to me, and then we just bring them up on the thing. We go over them. We try new questions, stuff like that. Okay. Yeah, Tanner, there is. Hold on, I have a video on that. I, hold on, let me find that. That's a great video. I have a great video on break evens. Hold on, it's literally break evens for everything. I'm big on small, little, quick videos. There we go. I like small videos, quick videos. I'm not. I don't like the long drawn out shit. I try really hard not to do that. Okay. Okay, that will help you with the break evens, Tainer. That's a break even thing. Okay. I think. Let's see, make sure I didn't miss anything. Hold on. That's a big fucking question. Okay. Listen, so here's what happens. If some if any part of the transaction is in the state, they have jurisdiction, okay? That's a heavy fucking question. I could do that for 20 minutes, and I'm not going to. So if the uh, remember, so if you if the call originates, if you call from Jersey, and you call the person in California, but they happen to be in Arizona, all three states have jurisdiction because it's originated, directed, and accepted. Okay, so you originate in New Jersey, you call California, you get you, you end up calling them Arizona where they are. You've talked to them. Basically, it's originated New Jersey, directed to California, but they accept it. Remember, they actually have to accept the trade. Just making the offer, they don't really have jurisdiction. It has to be that. Okay. 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 Now, um, and here's the thing. So if if you're advertising, this is what it is. If it's non-exempt, then they have that. By the way, Billy, I have that 63 cheat sheet. Go watch that one. That all goes about the registration of securities. And the and I have two of them. Can I sell a security and the register and the 63 cheat sheet in that 63 playlist? Both of those cover the registration. Gotta go watch that before you ask me a question on here. So the, if, if you advertising the advertising and sales literature, if it's for non-exempt shit, they can, they can ask for it to be submitted. Okay, if it's for like stock exchange stuff or exempt or exempt securities or exempt transactions, they can't ask for you to file it. That's the way it goes. Okay, okay. Again, the sixty-three is easier than the sixty-five. I promise you. Okay. Now, initial margin is fifty percent, but never less than two grand. Here's why it screws you, okay? If you're using margin, you have to put down a minimum 50%, but as a start, but never less than two grand. But minimum maintenance, it means if you have um, exercise price, it's strike price. So calls are strike plus premium, puts are strike minus. Doesn't matter by yourself. Now, minimum maintenance is if you already set your, you have a buy the stock, if the equity drops to 25% on a long, or 30% in a short, you're going to have um, you're gonna have a minimum maintenance. The only time you can put down less than two grand is if you buy, not sell. If you buy less than $2,000 worth of stock, it literally just becomes a cash transaction and a margin account. Okay. We're going to get it. You're gonna, Jose, you're going to nail it. Take it easy. Tomorrow's an easy day. Just add knowledge, do video, stuff like that. Okay. I think you want to be in the 80s. Mid eighties on unachievable stuff. It's funny, everyone. Um, yeah, Lisa, if you're in mid eighties, um, with achievable, you're fine. And if you have time, Lisa, yeah, fucking a, get Kaplan, get the Kaplan Q Bank. And if you want, reach out to Michael Weiss on the Facebook. He'll give you a, a um a discount code. Okay. <clears throat> yes, in a way it does. So if you figure out present value, right? So if you have future value, this is sixty five and sixty six folks. If you have future value and you figure out the present value using discounted cash flow and the IRR, okay? If you, if, if the market value is actually below the present value, that's a positive NPV. And if you're, and if the market price is above the present value, that's a negative because you're paying more. Remember, present value is where the stocks or the bond should be trading to hit future value. So if it's lower, than, if you can buy it less than that, that's a good thing. If you have to buy it for more, then that's a bad thing, okay? And um, the zero NPV is when the present value and um, there's no such thing as a break even for a bond. 
profit and loss maybe, but break evens are only for options because it's a price plus a premium. So don't worry about that. Now only for um only for options. Um, if present value and new and if present value and future value are equal, okay, that's that rate of return is the internal rate of return, and you have a zero NPV. Okay. I have a go find my video on the time value of money that'll cover boom. Okay. Um really should be two to three hours a day, but really no more than five. So if you have an eight hour day, you should be taking breaks. Okay. I know that sounds like if that's anyone, that might be Amy. A Amy is always the one who hates. She always wants to bring it up, even though Amy passed all the tests. Okay. She still, she still help. That's the thing. There's people on here, Miles and Amy and Carol. They're all, they, they come back on and they give advice and they're all giving back. It's so awesome. That's why I love these Facebook groups more than mine. I mean, I love the fact that I like, I'll chuck on and there's like 30 conversations. Somebody says they're struggling. They all try to help. Somebody says they failed. They give support. It's like a bunch of kumbaya shit. Okay. But it's awesome. Okay. Um, you don't want to do more than five hours a day. So if you have an eight-hour day, you want to take some breaks. Do two hours, take a break. Do two hours, take a break. And then do another hour or two. And then you're done. And on the weekends, just do like eight to 12 and then go enjoy your fucking day. Don't let this shit get in your head. Solicitation is an offer. Yes, it's literally it is. Okay. I think so. I think a sale, it'll be an issue or transaction. But yeah works it's a sale the transaction it remember if they buy it okay yeah i'm telling you it'll help you by the way guys if you're not sure about the achievable there's a free trial go in there they let you poke around for like a chapter or two or something like that and so before you before you decide to pay the money go check them out it's a free trial Okay, are we back and running? I think we're back and running. See, this is on a delay, so I never know. There we go. Okay, now. Did it freeze again? Okay, good. Okay. So, a blanket recommendation is when you do a recommendation without. A blanket recommendation is when you do a recommendation without actually. To, you say, listen, everyone, who, all my customers, I'm going to put them in IBM. I think it works. So that's a blanket recommendation. That's a no-go. That's a, not a thing. That's bad. Blanket recommendations, okay, is um, is when you just give everyone in your all your clients the same the same stock or product or whatever without doing suitability. That's right. Now, listen, there is a chance that you could put you, – you have 20 clients and they all have the same thing and IBM works for them, but – the chances are pretty slim, but I guess it could happen. Okay. Anthony, you're good. You're good. You're good. Okay. By the way, not a fan. Um, but what's funny is I have somebody, I have a good person that I'm related to that works for them. So I have to be careful how much I shit on them, but maybe he'll make them better. I don't know. Um, you're fine. You're good. Last few days for the SIE, make sure you tomorrow, Tomorrow you can take a test. Oh, Thursday, right? Taking a Friday. So tomorrow you can take tests. Thursday, no, just add knowledge. Go out, you know. You're you're in good you're in good shape though. As long as I'm not memorizing, you can go to have you taken the FINRA one on the website? I have one on my playlist, the taking finals. It's called 75 questions. It's really, really close. It definitely resonates with the, the style of questions from the exam. Okay. Nicole, I finally got to your question. Okay. Okay. I got to reopen Zoom. I hope that's not going to screw my. Every time I screw this, I lose connection. See, it happened again. Okay, I think I'm on. I 
I may switch vendors at one point. Let's see. Yes, it's okay. So now I got to see which question she asked. Oh, let's see. Here we go. So client buys 10 JNT. Am I sharing? I guess I'm not sharing. Hold on. Does it help if I shared it? By 10 JNT November 75 puts at 11.05. That's the premium, okay? Amy always yells at me that I don't make it big enough because people can't read it. There we go. Now, remember one thing. One, I never give a shit where the stock is trading when I put it on. So remember that. So the fact that the JNT is at 68, don't care. Then the stock dropped to 61. Okay? So let's do this. First, get the break even. Somebody tell me what the break even is. I can't do the math on this shit. Hold on. Let me find my calculator. Always use a calculator. Remember, break even on a put is always strike minus premium. I'm going to do 75 minus 1105. That equals 63.95. So my break even is 63.95. And I am bearish. Why? How do I bearish? Buying a put is bearish. Okay. Boom. Arrow down from 63.95. Now, what did they say the stock went to? Stock went to 61. Closes the position at a tits expiration. I mean, do they mean intrinsic value or something? I don't know. Hold on. So what is that? So how much in the, so here's the thing. So now we have, doesn't matter what they do. So now here's my break even. Anything below that is a gain. Anything above it is a loss because I bought a put on bearish. So how much below is it? That's 295 below. So that's a $2.95 gain times 100 is 295 times 10 is 29.50. So it has to be a 29.50 gain. Because again, I bought a put 70 put 11.5. Here's my break even. The stock is below the break even. That's 295. I made 295. 29.50 times 10. Nicole, does that help? I know you asked it a while ago, but I hope that helps. Okay. Hope that helps. And boom. Okay, you're talking about the past perfect order. That's true. Okay. So again, fee schedule is everything pretty much everything but markups, markdown, and commissions and stuff like that. Okay. Yeah, the other thing. So past perfect. If it's red, that means you're not ready. If it's yellow, it means you're, you're you're good. I don't think there's a green. I think I know somebody that got 100, and it still said yellow. It's like, okay, they're assholes. Okay. I'm telling you, it's going to help. 2141. I am caught up. It took me a while to catch up, but I did. That's awesome. Oh, that's not what I want to do. See, every time I do something, it, it shuts me down. It's like it's very sensitive. It's like an old thing. I got to kick the screen or something. Okay. Guys, okay. I think we're back. Okay. Everyone, I think that's it. I think I got all the questions. Okay. Red, very red, yellow. Is there, is there actually any or is there a green? I've never seen anyone get green. I don't think I've ever seen anyone get green. I mean, maybe they do. I don't know. Okay. Um, I think we caught up. Okay. Yeah, so here's the thing. So, James, you can't just – that's why the problem is to try to get into the green on a, on Pass Perfect is nearly impossible. Let me explain how hard – how stupid Pass Perfect is. 
when I take these exams, the actual exams on FINRA, before when they gave scores, I got one, two, maybe three wrong, most, mostly two, right? Yet I will probably be mid 80s at best and past perfect. So literally, past perfect could be 15% harder than the test. Now, that, I mean, the problem is it's not always fucking relevant because, I mean, like, I, this is the way I say I go to get my CPR license. PS Perfect would teach me the fucking MCATs, okay? You know, that's, or I'm trying to, you know, whatever. It's just, it's so much, okay? It, it's too much. And I think if you use Achievable, you'll be, you'll be very thankful. And then you can just do both back and forth. A lot of places, look, I know that some of you have passed perfect, that you have a people tracking everything you're doing. They go, hey, why are you doing it? So if you're going to do another vendor, I'd say, get the past perfect out done. But from 8 to 11, just bang through the shit as quick as you can. And then focus on either the cap one or the STC or achievable and just do it that way. And then take, then you'll get better at the past perfect stuff because you'll learn more. And then at the end, you'll be doing both and you'll be ready. Okay. Guys, this was fun. Tuesday night was good. I actually had some questions on here, which was good. I hope I did that. Guys, don't forget to check out my options, mem my memberships. I swear to God, they help. And it's a fucking bargain. You're talking 50 bucks a month and you get boom. Okay. Yes, Drew, you're ready. Drew, any last minute, it always is last minute stuff. So I'm give fair warning. I'm cutting off in a couple of minutes. So if you have a question, jump it in here. Yeah, Drew, you're going to be ready. Absolutely. 85%. As long as you're, thanks, Ryan. As long as you're not memorizing questions, you're good. If you want to practice, go take um take one of my tests on my taking practice funnels playlist and see how you do. It's just a different thing. Um, don't forget my membership. It helps. Don't forget Facebook. That's free shit. Okay. Don't forget to check out Brandon Rith or even Michael Weiss at Series 70 Zam Tutor. I'm here for you. Okay. Feel free, guys. Jump in the Facebook group. Ask questions. Be involved. Join a study group. I have some people that just log into my study group and they leave it open. And then they, then at some point in the day, somebody will pop in and boom, they become study buddies. I'm telling you it works. These are free. The reason I did the free ones for all you guys is because I found out if you put, if you have a free one and you put more than two people in there, then it becomes a 40 minute thing. Mine I pay for. So that's open 24 seven. If you guys are on immediate two 30 in the morning, have at it. I have a couple of Hawaii people. I have a couple of Hawaii students that have to meet in the morning. You know how miserable that is to have to start teaching? Because I have two students after this tonight, and I've been started at 9. I don't know how I'm going to do it. I'm going to fall asleep. Okay. And then I have my dentist appointment at 7 a.m. There's a good chance I oversleep. Guys, and hopefully I can remember where to put my tongue. Okay. Everyone, I love doing this. Literally, Tuesdays and Thursday nights are my favorite. Keep watching out. Don't forget, if you think I'm pretty good at this and you want to help me out, share, like it, comment, comment tomorrow and the on the replay. Share the shit. Send it to people. It's funny. I had a student today. Okay. Oh, here we go. Hold on. Okay. Do you... Here's the thing. Okay. I do have a video on that. I have a play up the paywall shit. But okay. Before we go. So understand some. I'm afraid to go back to my Zoom because it keeps shutting me off. But look, here I'm going to try to do as much as I can. Hold on. Let me see what I can do. Did I shut it down again? I don't want to shut my stuff off. But I'm going to see. That's why I always wait for people at the end. Okay. So it's in chilling. You better be fucking on here still. Because if I do this again and you're not on here, I'm going to kick your ass. Okay. So now, look. I'm long, 100 shares. I'm not going to do the math. I'll do the theory. You want the math? Buy my fucking membership shit. Okay, so now. Okay. No, Chinchilla, don't sweat that shit. Drew's going to nail it. I'm just saying you better be a fucking on here. Okay, so now. If I, so if you're long 100 shares at 50, what do you want to happen? You literally want the stock to go up, right? If I'm long 100 shares at 50, I want it to go up to forever and make money. But what am I afraid is going to happen? I'm afraid it's going to go down, okay? I'm afraid the stock's going to drop. So what do I do? What Wouldn't it be nice to have a thing that could let me sell stock at a fair price, which is a put. A put gives you the right to sell. So I won XYZ with an XYX October 50 put at two. So what happens? Even and again, if you want to do the more, you can get you can go to the pay, find the paywall. I bought stock at 50. Even if the stock goes to zero, God, you'd be so pissed. But look what you did. 
you bought the right to sell it at 50. So even if it goes to zero, you still get to sell it at 50. So those, so all you can lose is two bucks. Okay. True, it could be a little bit of a cap on. That's what I'm saying. Try the other vendors on my practice finals. Try those on my YouTube and see if they, if you were to go with those and you're fine. So that's why I buy a put. This is a protective put, okay? You put, This is a hedge. Now, <clears throat> let's say I don't want protection. I don't think the stock's going to move, but I want to put a little money in my pocket. I'm going to sell one XYX October 55 call at three. Now, what happens? I buy the stock. I sell the call. This is a covered call, okay? This is a covered call. This Lauren Beaver. Hold on. Boom. Done. You're done. Awesome. Seven. Lauren is done. The beaver is done. That's awesome. The beave. A little harder than the beaver last night. Okay. So now it's a joke, joke from uh, Leave with the Beaver. I'm making fun of your name, but you don't care because you're so fucking happy that you're done. I love having you on here. That's awesome. I'm so happy for you. I'm so, so, so happy for you. That's awesome. Go make your millions. You get to enjoy. You get to enjoy the rest of July and the rest of your summer. Awesome. Okay. Now, back to this. So understand. So chin chilling. If I'm long stock, and I'm not looking for, and I'm looking for protection, really just looking to put a little money in my pocket. I'm gonna sell a call. That's a covered call. Okay. So now remember something. Okay. No, not really. I mean, yeah, you can be, yeah, but then they're going to kill the test. So they don't get cocky. That's the difference. That's the only difference. Now, if I sell a call, okay. No, don't do, no, if you're taking it a few days, you do one a day, my man, one a day and you're done. Okay. Where am I? Okay. So now look. Oh, hold on. This is an uncovered call. It's naked. It's all alone. That is a covered call. Uncovered, covered. Uncovered, covered. <clears throat> so if you sell an option by itself, it's an uncovered call. If you sell up, if you buy, doesn't matter. If you sell a call and have a long position with it, it's a covered call, which is super safe. Now I'm going to do it real quick on the other side. I'm not going to spend all day. If I'm short stock at 50, I want it to go down. I'm afraid it's going to go up. Okay. Yeah. Drew, just do one tomorrow, one Thursday, and then you're done. That's it. And then just review them and then hang out. Go find a girl, whatever. Pay for it if you have to. Okay. So now, if I'm short stock, how do I, I'm, I want it to go down? I'm afraid it's going to go up. Buy one. By the way, girls, if you're taking it tomorrow, if you want to go find a guy and pay for it, I'm all, I'm all for it. Okay. Now, buy one XYX October 55 call. I was going to say a 50 call just to be super safe. 50 call at three. I am worried it's going to go up. So remember, if I'm shorting stock, I want it to go down. If I if I, if I I want to hedge myself, why can't I move this? Oh, there it is. I, I'm afraid it's going to go up. So what's going to happen is if it goes up, right? Okay. If I'm short stock at 50 and, and I'm afraid it's going to go up, it'd be really nice that even if it went up, I have the ability to Buy the stock at 50 still, no matter how high it goes. So this is a protective call, okay? And what I'm going to do, if I want to bring in some money, I'm going to sell one October 50, 45 put. This is a covered put. I'm just, all, I'm hoping the option expires and I keep the premium. Same with the cover call. I'm hoping the option expires and I keep the premium. So naked put. Or uncovered, covered, uncovered, covered, Co uncovered, covered. So you're covering it up, and you're. But when you have stock in an option, it's a covered option. Well, if you have stock and you sold an option, it's a covered option. If you if you're, if you have an option, if you sold an option by itself, it's uncovered. I, again, I'm just butchering it to do it real quick. Um, not trying to go crazy because I'm going to head out of here. But if you really want a better explanation, I do have. Look, for 20 bucks, you get the videos, okay? Boom. And then we, and if you pay the 50, we get the seven class in there. And to chill in, it depends. If you're taking the seven, you need to know this. If you're taking the SIE, you already know more than you need. Again, Lauren, I am so happy for you. Boom. Everyone? Okay.
Boom. I hope that helps. Okay. So now everyone, listen, why folk do listen, be nice to yourself, right? Seriously. I'm not some zoom up of Zen fucking guy. I'm not into that shit, but look, don't beat yourself up. Okay. Don't be yourself. Up. If it's if you're struggling, remember you'll be there someday. It takes a while, but you'll get there. I promise you it'll be there. Okay. Um, <clears throat> take care. We got this. Have oh, I'm going to say have a good weekend, but it's only Tuesday. I don't even, I'm so brain dead. Um, Oh, yeah, exactly, Lauren. Nailed it. Good stuff. Great advice. Once you're in the 70s, 80s, just do a question a day. Yeah, listen, Stephen, that's right. We're going to get it, right? You never give up, right? Boom, we're going to get it. That's the thing. Remember, take a day. You had took it Saturday. You've taken two days off. Boom, get into it tomorrow. We're going to nail it. That's all it's all about. Now, you remember, you don't lose until you quit. Remember that you never lose to equip at some point, whatever. Okay. So Facebook user, if you want it's well, no, it's if you want to do the membership, you go onto my YouTube and you hit join. And then we do this weekly thing on zoom. Well, Lauren, I'm so happy to do that. All I ask that you tell people. Okay. I think, yeah, you do buy it on YouTube. Lauren, all I ask you is to share this shit out. Even if you think you'll be offended by my cursing, eh, they might, they might go, Oh, you might find out. I had one student that um, I just met her today. Her her nephew sent her. He goes, he might curse a little bit. And she goes, that's fucking all right. I'm okay with that. So I think it's very funny. Um, people don't get offended as you think. My mom thinks I curse way too much. She says, sometimes you really do, go out of my way to do it. But it's in my DNA. There's nothing I can do. Okay. Um, Lauren, again, congratulations. Go enjoy your life. It's going to be. It, you must have screamed when you got that. Okay. Again, so if you want to join the membership, you come on my YouTube channel. Listen, guys, don't do it on an iPhone. Do it on your laptop or desktop because then you won't pay the extra 30%. Then you just goes right to – because I think I found out why the prices are different. If you do it on your phone, iPhone jacks 30% on top of it. So if you do it on a laptop or desktop, you're just going to pay the regular fee. Okay? And then you join, and then we meet every – I have the options videos. I do the replays. And every Sunday we go over shit. Again, Lauren, congrats. Everyone who passed, congrats. Everyone, wash your hands. Okay. Boom. There you go. Boom. See, like that. One, two, three accredited. Boom. All these little things. Boom. Okay. I love it. Okay. Guys, everyone, have a great night. I love doing this. I will see you in two days. You better be here. Okay. That's funny. You're not going to fail, chinchilling. You're not going to fail. Boom. Okay. See you all Thursday. You better be on there Thursday. Okay. Y'all, and anyone who's taking in the next two days, you better come on. Unlike someone who should have been come on here and tell us how they passed, but she decided not to. Blew me off. Y'all have a good night. If I can get out of here. I'm going to look at one of those old guys trying to press buttons to stop it. Look at